This video is to demonstrate the microchip RN4020 development board and writing a script to read uh, an analog I.O. and send that information across to a Bluetooth Low Energy uh, tablet or smartphone that is connected to it over its private services and the RF Bluetooth Low Energy link. Uh, the RN4020 from Microchip is an ASCII-based AT command uh, module with scripting features. Uh, I have TerraTerm connected to the virtual COM port that is created by the module. Underneath the module is a uh, UART to USB. Um, and when I plugged it into the USB port, it actually created a, a virtual COM 4 at 115.200. Uh, instead of typing all of the commands, the TerraTerm is actually really uh, good uh, and has a feature of actually copying and pasting um, the ASCII command. So I actually have a list of commands here um, that I've created in Notepad uh, with the different sections. This section right here uh, shows sending uh, the command to set up a private service. So this first command sets it to the factory default. This command sets up the uh, services for, so we're actually going to set up a private service for the GAT layer. And this uh, command sets it to be a peripheral device. Uh, PZ actually clears any previous private services that were created on the in the GAT layer of the RN4020. Um, PS start is the command to set up a public service. So we are just using the 128-bit UUID of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero repeating. So the FF is the generic private service. And PC stands for private characteristics. So we're going to write two private characteristics. Um, we're going to make this one readable and writable. I'm sorry, readable and notify. And it's two bytes. And we're going to make another characteristic that is... Uh, uh, read only that is two bytes and then after we set the characteristics we're going to reboot so I'm just going to copy and paste these commands here um, and actually I want to turn on local echo turning on local echo is just the plus sign so local echo on I will do con I'm sorry Alt R is the copy paste function in TerraTerm. So yes, I want to paste all of these ASCII commands into TerraTerm. And as you can see, um, it actually took all the commands. It's OK. The last command R comma one is to reboot. So we've just rebooted the uh, the ARM forty twenty after setting all of these services. There is a command to list all of the private services we just created by doing an ls. I'm actually typing ls. Uh, enter. And it shows the service that we just created and the characteristics. Oh, let me turn on local echo. And again, that's a plus sign and enter. And then I'm actually going to write the script now. This script is a uh, pretty basic the first command here is uh, we're clearing any previous script or then we're enabling the script and actually the script starts at this moment forward at power on this script is very simple at power on go into advertisement mode we're setting a variable um, variable number one and we're setting a handle um, the handle this means that the uh, you notice the zero zero E is associated with this private characteristic here, 000E. And so that means this is a um, readable and it's two bytes. Uh, there's a table within a documentation that actually uh, describes the different states or, or so forth. But this script basically is reading uh, the AIO um, on this little sensor board here. And there is a light sensor, and it'll give us the value uh, of the current uh, 
the voltage or the current value of this uh, light sensor. Um, now actually going into detail, I will just copy and paste this script. into TerraTerm. Yes, OK. It has written the script. Now to exit the scripting mode, we have to press Escape. So after we hit Escape, we hit End. Um, we see the End uh, response. To actually verify the script is written, you can actually do an, uh, let me turn on Echo again. Oh, actually, turn it back on. L, W, which means list the script that was written. Um, so it looks like it didn't take. Let me try this again. Okay. Let me do a W, C, which we're clearing the script, and then a W, W, which we're entering script mode. And actually, let me just copy from here on down. And then we're going to paste the script. OK, hit Escape. And let's list the script. OK, I'm trusting that the script was written. <laughs> Uh, then what we will do is, after we hit escape, there are two more commands that need to be executed, which is the SR, uh, zero, this command right here, and then a reboot. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this as well. Hopefully, hope, hoping all my copy and pasting works. And I could manually type these. Okay, so it has rebooted and restarted. So the power light is on. Let me use light blue to actually find the device. So my device is advertising upon power up. This is an iOS application, Allen RN4020. There is one service available. Let me select this service so here are the here are the services that I created within the RN4020 as you remember the one two three four five six seven eight nine FF the private service and here are the character two characteristics of the service and you notice that one is just read and one is read and notify the sensor I'm uh, want to demo is a, is the read notify version so let me select that and uh, it read the, the characters the first time. I could ask it to read it again, but I'm going to go ahead and listen for all the notifications. So this script is, uh, again, this script is what it's doing is it's reading the AIO. Uh, so there's a timer set up after a connection for, so every two seconds, uh, read the AIO, um, write it into the GAT database, and then when it changes, and then set reset the timer again every two seconds. So every two seconds, it's reading the AIO and posting, setting it, sending the information over to light blue. So right now we have a value of uh, 050F. In fact, it's a byte swap, so it's uh, 0F05. If I cover here, if I cover the sensor, we'll see the value change. And it should be dropping. So if I even cover further down, bring my hand down to actually cover the light, but I don't want to block the RF, you'll see the value drop even further. In fact, let me see if I can get it down to zero by actually putting my finger on the actual sensor. Not enough. It's not getting any lower. Um, but if I remove my finger, you'll see the, um, the value changing. And 
this is the sensor demo. Uh, good luck in trying it out yourself.